Today we're gonna to be building and setting our first ever needlefish 24 hour fish trap at my dock. And we are gonna see how many needlefish we can catch in 24 hours using a fish trap and a ton of chum. Now you guys know in the past I've set a ton of fish traps at my dock. You guys absolutely love those videos where I set like four or five of fish traps at my dock and we just let them sit for 24 hours, pull them up and see what happens. But today I'm gonna to be specializing in making a needlefish strictly. Needlefish strictly only fish trap for the dock for 24 hours. Now it's gonna to be tough because I've never really set one or made one of these specific needlefish fish traps. But we're gonna to have to use our big brains and tons of engineering to uh, make this happen. Now the dock has been looking fantastic recently. The water is crystal clear. Finally, after a while, we got mullet jumping everywhere. I would not be surprised if we catch a ton of mullet while setting this trap, but that's not what we're going for today. We are going for the needlefish for one of my saltwater ponds. And we're gonna try our best to try to make the most efficient trap for needlefish. There's a couple things you need to know about needlefish. One, they are long and skinny. Two, they swim on the top of the water. So how are we gonna get them in the trap and get them to stay there and not come out? We might have to just uh, rely on a little bit of luck but we do know that we want the whole of the fish trap to be at the top of the water. I've never made one like this before, but we're gonna try and find the best possible way, the most efficient way to catch needlefish only in a fish trap without letting them get out. Probably gonna have to be me watching the trap tomorrow, all day, seeing when there's needlefish in there and pulling it up right away. That's probably gonna be the best way on how we're gonna have to catch these guys. Now I don't have a trap, I have to build a trap. So you know what that means? I gotta get my hard hat on, AKA my fish guy hat, and I have to build the world's best saltwater needlefish fish 24 hour fish trap. We gotta get building and we gotta go to Home Depot because we gotta build the best trap ever. Now I do have a wide variety of traps as in, uh, I don't know, I got a bunch of crab traps. I got two right there. I got a bunch. I have a bunch of homemade ones. I have this one right here that we made a while back that has done very well for us, but a big hole in it because some big old sea creature came in here and absolutely crushed uh, our trap. So, so those are the traps I currently have, but we have to make a brand new one in order to fit the size and the needs for our needlefish trap. We got some uh, pit stops to make, ladies and gentlemen. We have to build build a whole trap from the ground up. And think about this, it has to be a needlefish specific. Then I gotta actually go to the bait store and get some and get some chum and bait because how are we gonna get those needlefish to eat chum slick on top of the water? That's the move. And we're gonna have to tie this trap in such a weird way so it stays still, we cannot have it moving around. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an eventful trap. That's what I think. That's my guess, it's gonna be electric. We gotta use our big brains. There's a lot of things that are gonna go into this one, that's for sure. And you guys love the needlefish and the barracudas. And when we get our native pond set up on the dock, the one that I showed you guys in my last couple of videos, those, those big black bins that we had in the garage and we can set up for our first native pond just to test it out and see how it works. We could get a bear, we could have a legit barracuda pond like with like four or five different 15 inch barracudas in there, which would be so damn cool. That would be sick. I've just been thinking about that the last couple of days. That would be so sick to do that. I think we have to. And I know you guys probably want to see that. A barracuda only pond on the dock would be sick. But that's for a later video. That's for when I get back from uh, my vacation that I'm taking. Then we'll start hitting the ground running on uh, some new stuff in the Fish Guy Chris warehouse. But first, we're building this trap to see how good and effective it can actually be for 24 hours. We are wheeling and dealing with this trap. I'm literally mid-build. Literally mid-build, post Lowe's, post Home Depot. This is what we're working with right now. It's a it's a cube, it's a cube. But guess what, I love cubes. And this is what the trap's gonna be, but it's gonna be different because we're gonna be using this right here. What are you saying, what is this? This is a flotation device. And I will show you later how we're gonna use it to catch these needlefish and only these these damn needlefish. So let's get building. I'm gonna finish this trap up. I literally did one side, gotta do the other side, and then we're locked and loaded, ready to go. And this is gonna be different because I have to cut the hole much differently. Needlefish trap 2.0 or 1.0 coming in hot. It's literally like 150,000 degrees out here. It's insanity, it's insanity. Gotta love Florida, gotta love it. And I'm in a black shirt. Shout out being in a black shirt in the hot, beating hot sun. I'm definitely not gonna get a sunburn. Do not worry. And look at this damn trap, dude. This is a actually big for needlefish. We could probably catch a bunch in here, but you never know, man. You never know, you gotta wait the 24 hours to really see what's gonna happen here. And I went with this weird mesh that I've never used before and I don't even know how it even works. Check it out, all I gotta do is trim the fat. All I gotta do is trim the fat and this thing is freaking done. Put a couple more zip ties on here, trim the fat and we're we're golden, we're ready for a needlefish fish trap. You know who loves my fish trap videos? My golf instructor. Shout out Jess Frank Golf Academy on YouTube. That guy's the freaking man, best golf instructor on YouTube. He's the man, I love him. If you guys are looking up, uh, looking to level up your game, you know, go over there, drop him a follow. Jess Frank Golf Club. I go what, once a week, swing some balls, hit some balls with him. He's the beast. He's the he's a man, I absolutely love him. Shout out Jess Frank. He loves the fish trap videos and guess what also he loves? He loves the puffer fish videos. So he's obviously a fish guy. And hopefully this trap absolutely crushes because maybe we'll get him on the needlefish 
this train because the needlefish are on fire and they're always at my dock. They're just so hard to catch on line and uh, rod and reel because for the, the ones at the dock are actually smart. They see you and they go the other way. The ones at the inlet, so dumb, they'll eat everything. But we're not going for the dumb ones. We're going for the smart ones. The ones living at Fish Guy Chris's dock. Let's trim the fat, baby. Now this trap obviously is going to be different from all the other traps because we need a hole at the top of this trap. I mean, we can, it can literally be the whole side. So watch what we're gonna do here. We are going to make a cut like this along the whole top of the trap. So that is where they can enter in from, the surface of the water. Cause that's where needlefish go too. They don't swim under the surface of the water. So we're gonna try it here. That's it, I'm just going for it. I'm just totally going for it right now. I have no, I'm not using any of my brain power for this. I'm just cutting. I'm literally just cutting. Here we go. All right, let's hope this works. Let's hope this works. Cause I just cut a dang hole in the trap. Hey, we can always patch it up. We can always patch it up. You're never, you're never out of the fight. Never get a dog out of the fight. Look at that. Look at that right there. And here's the idea. Put the fish trap in the water. It sinks down. This is in here keeping it up, the needles can swim. The needles can swim. If this is up here, let's just pretend that this is up here. Okay, so that's there, holding it up. And the needlefish can swim right in there. I pull the fish trap up, needlefish are inside the fish trap. That's big brain, Chris. That can, that will be, that'll be $49.99 for teaching you how to make a fish trap. Just kidding, free of charge. Free of charge, but we have ourselves a needlefish fish trap. Bang, baby. And they can't even see this mesh. Like, can you guys even see that mesh? That's so hard to see, especially in the water. That's just gonna literally disappear. It's gonna completely disappear in the water. So if I'm a needle fish right here. I swim in. Boom. I'm in. Okay. I'm eating. When I pull it up, that's it. They're stuck in the bottom. What's that mean where it's like, that's me right now. Big brain. Big freaking brain. Okay. Big brain. The other big brain we need is chum and how we're going to get these guys actually in the fish trap. That's a million dollar question. Okay. And now you're probably asking yourself, okay, but how are you going to get the needlefish actually in the fish trap? And most of you guys probably know the answer to this. Chum. Tournament master, blue label, double ground, extra fine. Chum. The good stuff. Double ground, extra fine, baby. Double ground, extra fine. And the whole trick is to get the chum in the water have it flow through the fish trap. I don't even need to put any of the chum in the fish trap. I could, I'm probably gonna throw a little piece of shrimp in there, but the chum, as long as it's flowing through that fish trap, needlefish follow that slick. Now chumming isn't rocket science, but it is science, okay? It's science, write that down. Everybody write that down. It is science. Chum and they will come, big believer, chum and they will come. Doesn't matter what it is. Snappers, sharks, needlefish, chubs, chum and they come. And look at that gorgeous chum. That is delicious. The chum is about to enter the chat. Chum is about to enter the chat, ladies and gentlemen. It is. Now double ground extra fine. That's gonna be good for uh, getting through the trap and getting all that little fish, all those little fish to get over here. Cause who knows, honestly, we could we could catch other stuff besides the fish. I doubt it cause uh, the hole's up top, but you never know, dude. We could catch a marlin. Every time you're fishing, you can catch a marlin, a white marlin at that. Here's the chum going in. Oh, fish are gonna freaking love that. Nothing like throwing a block and chum in the water, especially at the dock, because literally you can see anything. And if there's a stingray that swims by, I'm netting him and putting him in the pond. That's for show. All right, gentlemen and ladies, gentlemen and ladies, floaty in trap, trap in water. Now wait for this thing to sink, dude. Just trust me. Just trust me, guys. You gotta wait for it to fill up. And once it does, it's over. It's over. Now, if any of my neighbors come out right now and ask me what I'm doing, I'm just gonna be like, I'm sinking my fish trap, bro. I'm sinking my damn trap. Why don't you mind your business? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm literally in the water getting this thing to sink. My white sneakers are not white anymore. I'm still sinking my trap. And look who's here. Two big needlefish are ready. Watch, if I move, if you guys see them. I don't know if you guys can see them. I'm zooming in as much as I can on the camera. Right there. Two big boys. There's one. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to zoom in, but he's right there. He's right there. Yeah, you can see him right there. Look at that. We got two, two needlefish. I told you, the chum, perfection. Perfection works every time. It's been there for two minutes. I haven't even sank this trap yet. I need to sink it first. Wow. Two needles. It's going to be cake. This might not even be a 24 hour trap. I might come back here tonight and it's already like three or four in there. Trust me, this is going to be a lock. Now right here is what I call perfection. We're already seeing needlefish. We have the chum, which is flowing this direction, literally straight out the canal. And we have the trap and the hole is right there. So the chum is literally flowing through the trap. Needlefish are going to swim right inside of there. And there's not going anywhere. When there's food, they stick around. And look at that. Look at those pairs. We got a great pair of a uh, trap to chum ratio. It's a new ratio I just came up with. Trap to chum ratio. It needs to be above 75 points. And I think we're at like a 97. So we have a great chum to trap ratio. So I'm going to leave this thing for 24 hours. I don't even know if we're going to need 24 hours. There's already fish everywhere over here because of that chum. Snappers all over the place. Blue sharp grunts everywhere. Those guys, they're going to be the first to probably swim in the trap. But we're probably going to get some, uh, some puffers. You guys know the deal. We're going to get the whole nine. The whole spectrum of chum chum fish. We're getting those, but we're going for a bunch of needlefish. 24 hour fish trap starts now. Guys, I just ran to get the camera. There is a freaking mammoth snook at my dock. I came out, I came prepared. <laughs> the shirt's off, the bucket hat is on, the glasses are on. I didn't have the camera out here and I saw underneath the dock, right here, right past the chum, a 40 inch snook. He was huge. It wasn't one of those small ones, dude. This thing was massive. I'm going to keep the camera out here just in case he circles back, but I think I probably scared him when I ran inside to get the, get the camera. Absolute 
unit. Damn it, I wish I caught him on camera. Maybe he's over here on the other side. He was swimming from there to here, so maybe he's on this side. I did not see him, guys. I definitely scared him when I ran inside the house. Literally almost broke my door down trying to get the camera. This thing is a behemoth, dude. I'm gonna keep the camera out here just in case, but I mean, you wanna talk about being a foot wide, dude? He was, he had shoulders on him, bro. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen here. Biggest fish, bigger than the tarpon that we usually see at, at, at the lights at night. This thing was huge, bro. Right underneath, right underneath that dock right there. Huge. I'm keeping the camera out here, guys. Guys, it is the next day and look at the flock of needlefish literally you probably can't see them on the camera but there's ripples everywhere i see probably seven at my dock right now and look at the mullet oh baby jacks look at the baby jacks coming through look at all those baby jacks that's sick there's the mullet there's the mullet every oh they're all pooping wow they just got scared of the baby jack that's hilarious <laughs> let's go but i came out here 24 hours later it is 3 40 24 hours later and we saw a school mullet some baby jacks then they are blown up and then i my eyes without even my glasses i see probably seven eight look at all the mullet seven eight needlefish get them all look at that school of baby jacks dude that's sick see that brook tons of baby jacks right there look at them they're pushing up all the mullet and the small little glass minners so there is stuff around there is stuff around and i will be shocked if we don't have at least one needlefish shocked because there's like 15 around here already look at them look at them there's just one. See, like whenever I come close, like he'll come out here to eat everything that's around. Then when I get close, he swims out, which is annoying. Chum, chum. The needlefish love chum. Here's another one. You can see him kicking on top of the water there, that, that ripple. That's a needle. Hell yeah, baby. The needles are out to play. Let's find out if we have any in the trap. All right, Mr. Needles. If they're in there, I gotta be quick with it. So I'm just gonna rip it up. Okay, I'm stuck on a barnacle. I'm stuck on a barnacle. I think we got, I think we have needles. Multiple needles engaged. Multiple needles engaged. We got them. We got them. Hopefully they can get out of this thing. And we got the cooler ready to go. Of course, we got a puffer as well. Needle galore, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this guy. Now, I was prepared. And thank God this cooler is coming clutch. So before I pulled the trap, got this big old cooler filled up. And this guy, of course, we have to catch a local. Now, I do want to get a puffer for the new giant saltwater pond. These guys are not cool. There is some really cool ones around here in Florida. But these guys, drop a like on this video if you guys want to see that. Us getting a cool puffer. Not like that, but a different kind. One of those big spiky ones. That would be sick. Now, before we check out these awesome needlefish that I caught, because I caught two megalodons. These are not small ones. I was kind of hoping for some small ones. I thought the trap would get the small ones. It got two megalodons. You guys know I've set a ton of traps at my dock. We've done it a bunch of times with me setting like five different ones. But I was thinking, if you guys want to see a video of me dropping like five or six different traps again, but this time not using the ones that you buy from the store, only homemade traps, oh, strictly homemade traps. We can make giant ones. We can make small ones. We can make ones with giant holes so that we can catch some big fish. Let me know by dropping a like on this video. If you want to see only homemade traps, five for 24 hours. Now check out these needlefish I caught. This guy, they're, they're absolutely massive. They're absolutely massive. And look at the teeth on that needlefish, dude. <laughs> He's chilling though. I mean, you can easily put him in the pond. He's absolutely vibing. But the colors on these guys are insane. Insane. Look at that. It's like a rainbow on the bottom there. I really was hunting for a smaller one. I was I was pretty confident that we were going to catch a, uh, a, a small guy. But these guys are just too big. Look at that needle. He's probably easily, he's like two feet. He is a big needlefish. That thing is huge. Or houndfish. They call them houndfish and they get giant. We've caught some giant ones before and people catch massive ones. These guys are really cool because they look like rainbows, but you have to be careful because of those teeth. So that's probably the bigger one. This is the smaller one who's still just way too big. Just way too big. I wanted to get a smaller guy for the pond. Look at that giant needlefish. He's absolutely huge. If anything, we're gonna keep one. I don't even know if I can keep one, but we're just gonna let this guy go just because he's he's too big. He's absolutely massive. That thing is a absolute stud of a needlefish. Whoa, buddy. Let's get this guy back in the water. We're gonna torpedo him. Ready? See ya. Later, buddy. Now, these needlefish that I did catch, I was not expecting to catch them this big. I really was expecting a bunch of little small ones. That's what I was going for. That's why I got the mesh that was this thin, this small together. Usually, I use that big orange mesh, which has like whole like that but i knew that i wanted to catch small ones not the big ones so unfortunately there was no no small ones around just giants like this guy here and i'm worried that if i put them in these guys have the power to absolutely spear the pond the small ones don't really have the power but the big ones definitely do so unfortunately with great sadness i have to let whoa this guy's whoa look at the teeth look at the teeth look at the teeth on that unfortunately i have to let this guy go he is a stud needle though <laughs> bright green and blue so sick so sick such a cool fish He's literally like a, this is the saltwater version of a gar. This is a, a saltwater version of a gar. And they get huge, guys. And they have nasty teeth. But this guy, he's too big. Both of them are too big. So unfortunately, buddy, you are going to have to go back. And you're not going to get free meals for life. You're going to go 
have to hunt in the wild for your food again. Look at the colors on that needle. So sick. You ready, buddy? Revive him a bit because he's been out of the water. Let me push him off. Later, buddy. <laughs> Look at that thing go. He's going to live out his days hunting for the rest of his life. He's not getting free meals from Fish Guy Chris, that's for sure. See you, guy. He's a fish guy right there. Man, I really wanted to catch small ones. Now, this pond that I wanted to put the baby needlefish in, those big ones could have speared a hole right in the side of it. The small ones, they don't have that kind of pork. They don't have that kind of power. But the big ones could have went whoop right through it, and there's a giant hole. So I was looking for the little dudes, actually, and even some for the uh, outdoor pond, well, the wooden ones. They would have been great little baby ones. But that trap only catches giants, I guess. The fish would have loved, you know, having a new friend. The ever snapper is already getting a little bit feisty. As you can see, he's already warming up to everybody. So that's the problem, guys. No fish allowed in here. Mr. Emperor Snapper. I thought, because yesterday he was chill. That's why I thought I could have put even baby needles in here because he was chill. But now he's, I guess he's coming, coming to life again. So now we're going to have to rethink the whole idea of catching baby needles for the pond. And we need to think about what we're going to do with him. I'm not even going to read the comments until after I get back from my trip. You guys are probably watching this right now as I'm on my trip after my wedding. So when I get back from that, it's probably going to be the week after this video goes live. And then I'm going to read the comments and see what you guys are saying about what I should do with the Emperor Snapper. Because this little dude, he probably wouldn't mess with anybody. He's just a friendly guy who likes to eat. The Emperor Snapper, on the other hand, will mess with absolutely everybody. So there you have it. <laughs> we need some definite ideas. I've asked you guys in three videos in a row. Drop the ideas. Keep them coming. We need to know what am I doing with the Emperor Snapper because he's going to absolutely destroy everything that goes in here. We were successful with our trap today. 24 hour needlefish trap. We proved that it can work. We can do it. Drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more and click over here if you want us to watch some more Fish Guy Chris videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.